My name is Christopher Granger Bell, and this is my chapter six project for the AP right tibia and fibula. I greeted the patient upon his arrival. When I made contact with the patient, I verified the patient's name and date of birth. I asked the patient which leg was bothering him, and if he felt comfortable walking inside the x-ray room, and if he needed assistance getting to the examination table. The patient replied that he was fine and that he could do, do everything all on his own with no assistance. The patient was able to reach the examination table with no problem at all. I asked the patient which leg was causing him so much trouble, and the patient replied that it was his right leg that was causing him all the discomfort. He also told me that the pain that was coming from below his knee and above his foot. I assisted the patient in laying supine on the examination table. I visually confirmed that the SID was precisely 40 inches above the patient's right fibula and tibula by the screen CR tube, as well as a tape measure that's located on the CR tube. I confirmed that the image that the doctor requested was the right tibia and fibula via email. I placed the image receptor underneath the patient's leg. I instructed the patient to lay still until the end of the examination. I selected the 14 by 17 image receptor for this examination, and I placed it underneath the patient's right leg. The image receptor was displayed portrait style. The image receptor was placed underneath the right leg of the patient inferior to the knee and superior to the calcaneus. The source to image receptor distance was precisely 40 inches. The patient was laying supine on the table. Supine with toes pointed toward the ceiling, 40 inches above the patient's anatomy was the CR2 position with no, with no angulation at all for this exam. I collimated the central beam to include the surrounding joints of the tibia and fibula, which was the right knee as well as the right ankle. I placed the red marker on the anatomical right of the patient. The KVP range for this for this examination is 65 to 70 KVP. I instructed the patient to remain still during the examination. There was no need for the patient to hold their breath or for any sort of breathing technique at all. The anatomy that was displayed in the radiograph was the fibula and the tibia of his right leg. The items in profile were the medial and lateral malleolus, the tibia and the fibula, and the medial condyles, and an AP view of the patella. The pathology of this examination is that is fractures within the tibia and fibula and the media epicondyles, as well as the lateral and medial malleolus.